Hey everyone, welcome to Math 140 College Algebra. My name is Amit and I will be supporting you through this online class. This video is going to give you some basic information about the online learning process as well as about this class and I'm going to show you guys some basics about our Canvas page. First off, I do want to stress the importance of this class. Uh, after Math 140, most of you guys will be taking trigonometry and calculus or if you're a business major, you'll be taking business calculus. Um, either way, this class is going to serve as a foundation for trigonometry, for calculus, for calculus 2, for business calculus. And without a strong foundation, um, it's going to be very hard to do well in your future classes. So I hope you approach this class not just with the sake of passing it, but with the intention of learning the material really well. So when you go to your future classes, you can be uh, prepared to, to tackle that material. So how is an online class different from a face-to-face -face class? Well, in a face-to-face -face class, there are set meeting times. The class might meet from Monday and Wednesday from 8.30 to 11.30. In a face-to-face -face class, physical attendance is often required. However, in an online class, students can set their own schedule and pace. Now, of course, there are deadlines, which are usually at the end of every week, However, within that week, uh, you are free to set your own schedule and your own pace. I always recommend not putting things off to the last minute. If, you, if I told you you have to do 1,000 push-ups by Sunday, and you wait until Sunday morning to do 1,000 push-ups, you're probably not going to be very successful. And even if you are, you're going to get hurt. So if your task is to do 1,000 push-ups, then what I would recommend is doing 200 push-ups every single day. Similarly, in this class, um, your materials, your, your um, homework, and your discussion boards will mostly be due on Sundays. Uh, there are some exceptions. Your exams for, you know, will be on Fridays, but for the most part, your material will be due on Sunday. Knowing that, please pace yourself and do a little bit every single day. If you wait until Saturday night or Sunday morning, yes, you might finish the work, but remember, the goal isn't just to finish the work. It's to get a, a, a deep understanding of the material. And the only way to do that is to pace yourself. So please set your own schedule and pace. However, please don't wait till the last minute. Please don't procrastinate because I want to see you succeed in this class, but also in future classes. Attendance is taken through participation. Your attendance will be taken through your participation in the discussion boards, in homework. So that's how I keep track of attendance. Here are some traits of a successful online student. Uh, there are many traits. These are just some traits that I have thought of. Successful online learners must be motivated, disciplined, self-directed, and good at time management. Um, you, Because there is no set time, you will be responsible for setting your own schedule, for getting your work done on time, for seeking help when you need it. You will participate in class through discussion boards and written interaction with peers and the instructor. Uh, take responsibility for the learning process. Each homework is, uh, is set up so that you watch a video lesson and then you continue to do the, the, the problems for that video lesson. And so it's your responsibility to watch the video lesson, to take notes, to get help if you need it, and then complete the assignment. Most importantly, please seek help. There are some great re resources on campus that you can utilize. So when you are stuck, when you need help, uh, I encourage you to seek it. So our Canvas website is given here, rsccd.instructor.com. And your login is going to be the same login as your web advisor. Once you log in, and I'll take you through this page in a moment, you will see your syllabus, you will see some basic cor course information, and I encourage you to start module one. Now, where to seek help? First place you can seek help is a discussion board. There is a general questions discussion board. This is student monitored. I don't monitor this discussion board, so feel free to post a question and um, at the same time, please monitor the board as well so when your peers pose questions, you can help them uh, by answering the questions. Math Center is a great resource. Please go to the Math Center and 
get help uh, with your homework, with understanding the material. The Learning Center is a great resource. The Learning Center provides one-on-one -on -one appointments. So that's a great resource if you're stuck on a particular concept or if you want to study for the test. The Learning Center is a great resource. Um, and finally, you can email me as well. It is hard to explain some of these problems over email, but I can always do my best. Uh, we can also set up a, a meeting time to, uh, to meet to go over what you're having difficulty with. So let me take you through our Canvas page. Our Canvas page looks kind of like this. Um, the section number might be different uh, depending on what semester you're taking this. But if you click on the syllabus, you will see that the syllabus has been posted. Please go through the syllabus, read it in detail. If you have any questions, let me know. The exam dates are going to be posted there as well as in the announcement. Then once you review the syllabus, please click on modules. And in the course information module, you will have a welcome message, your syllabus, my contact information, where to get help in your math class. Um, so please go ahead and review that. The general course questions, that's where you put your general questions about the class. You can say, you know, on section 2.4, I'm having trouble with number six. Can someone please help me? In module one, start with the introduction and make your way forward. So the first thing you'll be doing is doing an introduction. Uh, click on the, the first module and here are the instructions on submitting your introductions. There are two steps. The first step is to submit your introduction, and the second step is to reply to uh, two of your peers. Now, all your notes are going to be uh, at the beginning of each unit, and I encourage you to print these notes because all your video lessons are aligned to these notes. So please print them, and as you watch the video lessons, you can fill these out. Please fill these out as you would in a normal class lecture. Once you print the notes, you can start working on completing your assignments. So these are learning objectives. So each section is split up into learning objectives. Um, you can read the chapter if you want to. That is optional, of course. But for each assignment, the way it's set up is that you would watch the video lesson. And once again, these video lessons are aligned to the, the notes which you are printed out. And once you watch the video lesson, you will complete questions for those video lessons. Each question also has some kind of help feature. So let's say you're having trouble with, uh, with completing this question. You can click on video one, video two, click on the video to get help. And of course, you can seek help at the Math Center, the Learning Center, General Discussion Board, or by contacting me. There are different parts, so if you click on the, you know, the next button, you will see that there is a second video lesson. So this one says end, end the section at 1820. So each section will have a starting point, and then the ending point is given there if it's at some weird, weird timing. Once again, watch the video lesson, com complete the notes, and work on the work on the questions for that section. And then keep going until all the sections have been completed. Once you finish practice 2.1, go to practice 2.2 and finish all the, the lessons for that particular module. Each week, a new module will be posted. So that's some basic information. I am here to answer any questions that you guys may have. So uh, feel free to email me and I look forward to your questions and I also look forward to supporting you th this semester.